In this video, we look at Canadian gold production starting from the last years of the 1890s, then through the 1900s and up to the present to provide context for the current levels of output for the country. Canadian production surged in the late 1890s and peaked in 1900 at 42 metric tons, or 11.5% of the world total, driven by the gold rush in Canada's Yukon, but declined just as quickly as gold was discovered in Alaska and prospectors shifted there, with output falling to 13 tons in 1907. Output continuously rose over the next 30 years, reaching a peak of 167 tons in 1941, while production fell through World War II to 84 metric tons by 1945 as capacity was shifted away from gold mining. Canada's share of world production dipped only moderately during the war and reached its all-time peak at 18.7% in 1951. Production slid through the 1960s until the mid-1970s as a fall in the gold price discouraged investment with Canada's global share hitting a trough in 1974 and absolute gold production hitting a low in 1981 at 49 tons. But this reversed in the late 1970s as the gold price surged on two inflation spikes and investment in the sector rose, sending production to 176 metric tons in 1991 although its share of the total rose to just 8.3% by 1991, as many other countries had started to increase their production. The gold price fell through the 1980s and 1990s, again driving a pullback in investment in the sector and therefore output to a low of 97 tons in 2008, with Canada's global share at just 3.9% in 2009. Another jump in the gold price followed the 2008-2009 global financial crisis driving a rise in production, which did not slow even as the gold price was weak from 2013 to 2018, reaching 183 tons in 2018. And while the global health crisis saw Canada's production dip slightly to 170 tons in 2021, its global share held up, reaching 5.7% in 2021. Leave any comments you have on the video below and visit our website www.canadianminingreport.com for more on Canadian gold production and the TSXV Junior Gold Producers, including our new product, the Top 50 TSXV Metal Miners, weekly updates, and longer form industry reports.